hello uh, uh, i'm going to show you how to how to extract the genes that are within the vicinity of your seeds and again i want to say that this is helpful very much helpful for those who are doing jewels and uh, after getting the heats and getting the results they want now to know the genes that are within the vicinity of the SNPs because SNPs are not the genes, they are just uh, regions that are in a language disequilibrium with the gene of interest. So by identifying genes that are within the vicinity, they are able to make recommendations and the conclusions and also uh, able to help uh, in uh, discussing their results. So when you do GWAS, you get uh, results that it looks like this. Uh, and this is a p-value. The next thing which you, you need to do is to, to get a column of negative log 10p so that you, you view the genes that were above the threshold. Here, our threshold was 6. So we made uh, this uh, a negative log 10p, and this is the value which we got. So uh, our threshold was 6, and we were able to get only 3 SNPs that were above our threshold of six, and these are the SNPs here, and these are their position of the three SNPs. So these are the SNPs that are in a linkage disequilibrium with the gene of interest. However, we don't know the genes, so therefore it's important to see genes that are around or within the vicinity of the SNPs. That's what I'm here to, to help you do. So let's uh, go ahead. Let's go ahead and uh, and load the, the package we are going to use, which is uh, Biomat. And uh, having loaded the results here, we want to select the want to select the SNPs that were uh, above the thresholds, which was six. So uh, uh, this is the column which we made called log. We are going to get the SNPs that were uh, equal to or above six, and uh, we we are going to get it from this uh, result data frame, and uh, we want to call them M segments. So this will develop a list, a list of M, uh, of these SNPs. After selecting these SNPs, we are going to uh, call them R ROI, that's the region of interest. And uh, in each of the three SNPs that you saw, we're going to select a position which is negative 100,000 or positive 100,000. Each SNP, negative 100,000 and a positive 100,000 region. You can change and put any position that you want, but I feel that hundred thousand and uh, which is I feel that negative hundred thousand and positive hundred thousand is a, a good a good region to consider in each SNP. And we are going to 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 call this the list M segments and run that. You can see we have M segments here. This is a list which is having only three genes that we selected, and uh, these are the regions which we have specified. So this is what we are going to use. These are the SNPs or our SNPs of interest. There are three. Now, next, because this thing needs internet. So some internet gets times timed out, so we have to increase the timing out. Or if you have a stable internet, you just leave it. So the, we run that. And uh, we are going to use uh, this website, www.plants.ensemble.org. It has our genes of interest. However, in, uh, I, have, I want to note that in this, in, in this, uh, in, in this website, it has maths. It has maths which have different uh, information. Let's look at the list of maths. Here we have two maths. One, two, this is a plant mat. This plant mat has genes that we want. And also it has plant variation. We don't want plant variation here. We want genes, so we take plant mat. So we want to put this information that we are going to use plant mat. And we, 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 we are going to get it from plant.ensemble. Before we go to that, we need to get the, the data uh, sets that are within the plant mat. We want to make an object which called it ensemble and use this function use mat and then run uh, it in a plant mat. But this plant mat is found in this uh, plant.org uh, website. We run that. We want to get this objective data ensemble, but we want to get the data sets that are within here. We use the list data sets function and we fit uh, our our object here and then we run we run then we can see the data sets here we open the data sets here we are working on maze so you just search your maze here we write z maze we get we have this our data of z maze that we have 
if you're working on cassava you just write money what is cleanser you get it here so because we are working on maize you just type c maize and here we are so we will use this data the data set of z maize so we come here directly and uh, make an object here that help us have information from where we search our genes from we are going to use this website here plant.sebro.org in this plant uh, in this website we are going to plant mat from plant mats we are going to use this data set of z maize because we are working on maize we run that to make that object it's very important object it's going to help us do our analysis the next thing is to find the attributes that we, we want to see the attributes of genes that we want to select we, we run that to get attributes. You can run attributes. We have 1,571 attributes which can describe the genes that are around your, your SNPs. These are, these are the attributes which you can use. And uh, we, we need to have what we call a filters. Filters is going to help us fit the information and uh, select. You can see we have 207 filters we, you can use. You can explore this here. So I want to show you how to acquire your genes. We use get bm function and then we fit our attributes. I have selected these attributes here. You can select more if you want or less, but this is what I've, I've um, selected. These are the attributes I've selected. Then you use filters. Filters, you use it to, to fit your data and then the database give me this. So we, have, we use chromosome region because we selected a position of a chromosome and biotype. You fit here using value. Value is chromosomal region that we specified here is equal to M segment. The three, uh, the three SNPs which we call M segment in the list here. You write M segment, and we are going to use a biotype. We want protein coding genes only. Then we are going to use a mat. This is where the information is going to come from. You run that, and you get your identifier here. We have 23 genes. These are 23 genes that are within the the vicinity of your SNPs. These are the information that we selected uh, from the attributes. We have done it. So if you find this video helpful, kindly subscribe, like, share. Thank you very much. I hope it was helpful.